Hi everybody, strolling through this kind of um, uh, German version of Oxford Street in Hamburg. All these different shops around the place. Yesterday this place was completely dead, but it's all quite vibey today. Waiting for the rest of the crew to come along. Basically we're going to do a bit of shopping, a bit of checking out historical places today as we stroll through Hamburg. It's already incredibly hot. I'm already in desperate need of some water. Um, see what we can find as we stroll along basically. Yeah, some classically perfume kind of stuff. All these perfumes here, much cheaper, seems to be about 50 euros here, but at home they'd be like 100, or even on a boat they're 100, but the boat's probably extra expensive, but interesting. Are these cheaper as well? Yeah, I mean, look at them, they're yeah. cheaper. So these things seem to be cheaper here in Germany. In Gastadt. Right, still in the shopping centre. Got quite a lot of these normal sort of Haribo stuff, but these look quite cool. These Schokoladen, crunchy coconut, salted caramel, strawberry cheesecake. All look kind of cool. Uh -huh. That is a big gummy pizza, man. Check it out. Uh, five euros? Four euros. That's actually a good price. Weirdly enough, everything, everything seems cheaper. So I like the special barbecue marshmallows they've got here. Pretty cool. cool. Yeah. What else they got? Mm, a lot of weird stuff. They've got a lot of quite weird stuff, haven't they? Yeah. Sweet spoons. Oh, Nutella biscuits. Are those like the ones you had before you went mad for? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I did the sweet skewers, yeah, they were cool. Sweet skewers are cool. Five years? Six. Six. Right, Rich D's found one of the most important things to buy in Karstadt, an ice crusher. And it's quiet. And it's quiet. That's because there's no ice in it, man. Come on, ice crusher. Right, how much is the ice crusher? Man alive, how much are we going to have to pay for the ice crusher? Oh, look, it's got little knives in it. Really? Yeah. yeah. 29.99. 29.99 euros, Bargino. Now in the toy area, I used to love toys in different countries, so exciting. Right, what are these? Are these pool? I thought these were pool toys. Oh, how many kg is it? Yeah. 45 kg, six days to build. Hours to build. Hours. Is Guess that how many hours? Oh, 22. 171 hours. 171 hours. 111 kg. Whoa, 111 kg. Everything's cheaper. There we go. Got it to talk. So Rafe D's checked it out. We reckon this Infinity Gauntlet is... How much was it in the UK? 70. But it's 74 here. It's the same, isn't it? No, but it's 54. No, no, no. Yeah. It's here. It's actual price. It's actually 64. Unless that's a random sticker. No, I think it must be 64. So that would be 50... 54, I check. Oh, 54 euros? Yeah, Oh, you translate. Okay, so that's 54 euros, and at home it would be 75 pounds, yeah? Yeah. Nice, so yeah, you no, do get a bargain. It's 79. Oh, 79 pounds at home. Anyway, it's about 20. Oh, no, no, sorry, it'd be 70, just 70. Okay, so what's the discount? How much do you get off? 16 pounds, so it's about 16 pounds cheaper. So, Ranky B, tell us the Imperial Star Destroyer. It is how much cheaper here? It's about 614 on Amazon and about 506 here. Yeah. Look at that, so it's about 100 quid cheaper or more. Pass it over then, let's get it. <laughs> We're obviously not getting it, but it is about 100 pounds cheaper. We don't need to try this really weird uh, Yoda jigsaw there, which I quite like. Um, what's those quite fun things there? Look at these like, I have seen these escape room games at home. Like this, Exit das Spiel. The other escape room games looks really cool actually. This is what we should get ready for, a miniature chainsaw. Can you get the mini keyboard? I don't even want the miniature chainsaw instead. Yeah? Yeah. Oh man, thousands of fluffy toys. Look at them, caged. And a massive horse. Not oh, oh, please don't run. Right, I'm still in Karstadt. Oh, I love all these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So loads of uh oh, this is what I was like looking at the meat, the fresh meat. So look, this is the German sort of supermarket section here. Nice. So you got all sorts of beautiful like bits shop. of meat and beef. Um, Look at these, I wonder what the prices are like. What is that? Oh, that's um, bone marrow by the look of it. It's 
small as packs of uh, mint. Chicken, how much is that chicken? Wow, that chicken is 14 euros. I suppose it's a beautifully sort of hand-reared chicken. That is expensive. Fish, fish looks good. Oh, nice little fish. Oh, look at these things over here. Oh, they must be sort of hams. Big ham. I don't think so. Can't tell. Maybe they are. They're all exactly all the same as each other, so maybe they are fake. Oh yeah, because there's quite a lot of fake lobsters over there. <laughs> this is quite interesting. These are more like uh, pre-packaged fish things. These seem more like normal prices. There's some prices at home. Got some pasta, sardines, noodling, noodling in Waldblitz Ramsalsa. Oh, look at the macaroni man B. It's a macaroni B. That's just too weird for words. How much does a macaroni be? It's 12 euros. 23 euros for a macaroni B. Man alive. <laughs> Lovely pass. Look, macaroni horses. Are they horses? Cows. Cows. <laughs> macaroni cows. Pass looks good. It's quite expensive as well. Oh, truffles. Whoa. Up to 29, the trufflers. Weiße truffle. White truffle. Get some mystic mango here. Nobody knows what mystic mango is, but it looks cool. Do you want to get a Mystic Mango? Right, show us the El Nacho crisps. You see? But I've never tried them before. He's going for El tortilla nachos. cheese Pringles for $2.79. Most expensive crisps here. When he could have just gone Chakalaka for $1.79. I don't want Chakalaka. Why would you not get Chakalaka? Well, you could have these hot pepperoni chips. Just strolling around in this, uh, this is like this little, little shopping centre underneath the hotel. Have a little stroll in here. It's rather cool, actually. Um, oh man, that's a beautiful shoe shop. Look at that. Amazing. Look at those sort of handmade shoes. They're stunning. How much are they? Actually, not terribly expensive. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. We've got this beautiful bear. I'm coming. Just want to see. Uh, tell me how much the bear is in our pounds. Look at this bear. How much do you think the bear is? Three grand. It's three grand in pounds, the bear. Three grand, yeah. It's cool, pretty cool. Have you seen Wagyu Wagyu around the corner? Where's Wagyu Wagyu? Let's see. It's spelt without the Y. Oh, maybe, maybe it's something else. <laughs> maybe it's something else. <laughs> Wagyu Wagyu. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. We're just going to look at Wagyu Wagyu. Where's Wagyu I'm Wagyu? Not sure let's see what it's it is. No let's go and see what Wagyu Wagyu looks like. It does. Could do. Wagyu Wagyu. It's a. Oh man, it's a Korean food shop. Nice. The kimbap, bibimbap, popcorn, chicken, junior. Oh, baby, Korean. So you got all these fancy shops here Stella McCartney, Herme, Burberry, Gucci, Prada. Oh man, this is the sort of fancy spot down here, isn't it? Actually, now we're here. Down by the canal. Looks really cool from the spot. Did you like the pain? We're loving it. Um, Everybody. Peloton, that does seem to be a Peloton shop here. Oh no, right. This is the fancy spotter shop, oh so yeah. This is the um, uh, beautiful area for it. Oh, look at that hammer. The hammer shop looks beautiful with a low down sort of um, waterline. Braun Hamburg, nice man. Oh, look at them. Bonjour, mon air. Okay, 10,000 earrings. We are Patak Philippe. Wait, what's the Can't see the thing. Grand? What is 119 grand? That's what oh, I'm looking man. for. It's not it's there. Calm. The 119 grand's gone. Uh, what's the most expensive thing you can see in the window? 190. 103. No, that, no, it's 10,000 now. 10,000. Hmm. And these are Tudor watches. They're different. These are a bargain. Merely just a few grand. Some of that jewelry is expensive, man. Oxponsivo. Check it out, baby. Let's have a couple of them. Look at it. Madness. I always remember that story about the woman who wrote Harry Potter buying herself a piece of jewelry without asking for the price. When she knew she knew made it or something. Ready? That is me. That this is, is my Sport Beast version. That is Go, Sport Beast Daddy! Yeah! When you're ready, go.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>